You have three that you got to learn how to do. Thank you, please. These are just hold downs. These are not submissions at all. Okay. These are just ways to control your opponent. Okay. Uh, first thing, after you pass the guard, you're going to want this arm out of the way. You don't want it inside as little as possible. Okay. I can deal with it on the inside, but I really want to get it to the outside, if at all possible. Okay. So we're going to start with this position so you can learn from here. Okay. Because this is where your ideal position is going to be. There's things you do here. And uh, there's things you don't do there. But by and large, a lot of the techniques I do with the arm in are finishing him or mounting him with the arm in this position. I either got to finish with an arm lock, choke, or I'm going to mount him. With the arm over here, an arm lock is a little harder for me to, to achieve. I can choke him here, it, but the chokes are a little different. The arm lock here is a little harder to get to. It's not impossible, but it's harder to get to. So the first position we're going to deal with is... Uh, side position, chest to chest. I'm going to go underneath his and grab his gi right here. And I'm going to pinch that tight. And then I'm going to bring my knee in. And I'm going to set out like this. Here. Now try to turn your leg in. Feel that one. See, I can move with him. I can get to my knees if I want to. <coughs> this is not my favorite side control position because it's not a lot of mobility here. But you want to block his legs. This is a head control. I don't like this as much either, but it's usable when you first come out of the guard. A lot of times the first thing available is that right there, and then I control his head. Okay, plus you can also move into, you know, chokes from right here too. Okay? <laughs> so that's the possibility here. And I drop my hip weight and keep my head down, keep this glued to the floor, floating with his movement. The next movement, I bring my knee in, this is going to go across, under, here, catch, and I set. Kesa. Hold here, hold here, head down. This is a very good position. Okay, extremely good. I got leg weight. Now, I'm being very polite here. Okay, this is, I've just got my butt's on the floor. Now it's not. Is it dead? All right. Sing your vows. A -E -I -O -U. Hey. No, right now. Just go ahead. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. A -E -I -O -U. A -E -I -O -U. Do it again. Crap. See the difference? You lie on his diaphragm. Yes. Okay. All right. So all I do is I use my feet to just kind of Let's lift see. my hips off the ground just a little bit. Okay. I mean, I'm not like this. What's wrong? It's just staying tight, head down, and just lift my hips off the mat. Use my legs. Okay? That's really horrifying for him. Mm -hmm. Then the next one, I'm going to shift my weight again. This time that arm's going to go across. Here, I'm going to pinch. Here. Now, pull and grab as much of the belt as you can get. Now I'm going to go here. Now, if he doesn't come up, you pull him. And that way, you kind of you get that arm down the spine. In here, now move, sir. This is one of the tightest positions you can be put in. Very hard to escape. Elbow and knee touching. Okay? You get on your toes if you need. But here's good. This hand's on this side. Don't put your arm on this side because you can get back to the guard. So I block his legs with just this arm in the way. And I've got all of my weight basically on his chest and face area. So move. With some authority. See, I can just hang on. Because this arm is useless over here. He's only got this arm. So where do you want that arm to eventually get to? Where do you want it? You want it there? Oh. Not a good place to put it. <laughs> where else do you want it? Well, I'll wait just as long as you want to wait here. <laughs> you hug me, I'll hug you, bro. <laughs> and we'll go get a Coke together later or something, you know? <laughs> if I was Dale, my instinct would be to, to, to get him. You can't get there. You can't get his arm over your head? No. My instinct would be take that arm and drive it in between me and the two of, the two of us and trying to, uh, Where? to roll out. Where? 
Huh? This arm? Yeah, that arm. He should go right there. Yeah. He should try to go under. Look, go back. He should try to get underneath that arm. Here. That's where you should try to go to. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. That's where he should go. Great That's space. the next available option for him. That's a whole escaping side control is a whole other art in and of itself. It's the worst position to be in on the bottom, I think, because it's the hardest to escape. Especially if somebody just parks his car on you right here, just do, and just hangs out. Okay, so it's really complicated. So you want to hang, don't want to hang out here. He should always get on his ribs. Always get, see how look how that elbow just went right back inside. Now that that allows me to go here though and sit back to here. When he does that, and I'm like, I'm going to punish him for just making stupid decisions. Mm -hmm. Actually, intelligent decisions. Okay? He actually made a smart move, so I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I'm going to go back to something a little nastier. And then we go back. So you have three. So you have under the head, here. Try to grab as much of this as you can up in here and hide. Then the second one is here. Set out. Third one, here. Here. Okay? They flow together pretty well. Oh, you got one more, actually. Right here, here, like this. A lot of times I'll sit like this. Like that. And that allows me to mount very easily. Okay? It seems like he can breathe into me, doesn't it? It doesn't mean the hips. See that, that foot back there? Move okay. to that position. All your weight on. Well, my foot blocked him. So I can go back here. Or if he bridges now... Oh, too late. <laughs> so you waited too long. If he bridges now, now he's got a chance, but I'm still in the guard. So that's, I mean, I, that's, I'm in a worse position, but I'm still okay. You got to be careful with him bridging. You know, so you got four, three required, or hand under the neck, Kesa, and then the side control position, dominant top. I like kind of refer to it as perfect side control because if you're, I mean, it's like, I really can't do anything when I got that arm trapped in the hand here. I have to wait for you to try to do something. I don't really do anything. I can't attack you without you moving from that position. But it's kind of referred to as, I kind of like to call it perfect side control because you've got to do something to get out of it. You can't just lay there and, I'm not going to transition because I'm comfortable there. Why would I move? I have you. <laughs> and in judo competition, if you get to something like that, that's a uh, kazure no, uh, uh, see, kazure no yoko, yoko gatame, yoko shiogatame, yoko shiogatame is what that uh, kazure, broken. And uh, if you're holding for 30 seconds, match over. So if you're holding down for 30 seconds, you're doing something really awesome. That's judo. And that's the judo logic behind it. In jujitsu, you know, it's a five minute match. You're holding for 30 seconds, that's his fault. There's Even no if points. there's no striking or uh, there's no points. Or there's no points in judo like that at all. You get points for holding down. If you're holding down for like 10 seconds, you get like a small point. 20 seconds is a, a half point. And then if you're holding for 30 seconds, it's a new point. Match over. So, you know, that's one of the ways to win. There's three ways to win in judo. The throw, the hold down, and the submission. Okay? Where in jiu-jitsu, there's only one way to win. Submit. There's ways to win the match, which is just by points. Accumulated points win. But submission always trumps all that. That's the difference between judo and jiu-jitsu. That's why there's less throws in jiu-jitsu than there is judo tournaments. Because we only get two points for it. What's the, what's the, uh, what's the point of going through all that hard throwing when it only gets two points and you don't win? So that's why judo puts an emphasis on throws, because if they throw you to your back, the match is over. So that's why they have so many throws. Okay? That's why it's so dynamic on the, if you watch judo, they're a little more like wrestling. They're that dynamic with each other. It's a little more aggressive, it's a lot more go. Okay? A lot of times they'll do that. So that's what we're gonna work on defending. So here, his arms in. Okay, so I'm like this, right? So if he starts to turn, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold right here, and I'm gonna walk past his head, and I'm gonna set out. I'm gonna try my best to get here. Reverse Kesa. Okay, it's a backwards Kesa. Now I'm on his 
face. <laughs> so now he does the same thing. He tries to go the other way. Hand here, and I meet him, and I sit out over here. Okay, see I pinch back here? Mm -hmm. He goes back the other way. So I go here, here. Cutting him off in the corners. And at some point, go back again. At some point, I'm going to go here, set, here, and then I'm going to step over. That's and I got mount. Okay? At some point. Armor strapped. <laughs> Straight jacket. Okay? All you're doing is, if you want to, start out like this. Head down, please, sir, right here. Head here. So you're going to start out like this if you want to, to make it easier to learn how to do. Elbow under his armpit, hug in this arm. Legs wide. Now, as soon as you feel him move, here on his hips are going to go up and see I thread the needle right there. See that? Elbow, hold his arm, sit, watch your partner's face. Okay? Then I do the same thing the other way. Here, here. Okay? Then the back. See, look, thread the needle, elbow down, sit out. Okay? Look familiar? Remember that drill? <laughs> Go. Inverted. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm normally like this. I'm going to go like this. Okay? I'm just going to grab here. So I'm going to, not way down here, kind of about halfway. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to pass it to the other side. Now I'm going to stand up in his guard and push. Okay? It's called squeeze the bread. Two things are going to happen. Three things are going to happen. One, he lets go of the guard. That's what I want. Okay? Two, he taps. That means he's a sissy. <laughs> okay? Or he's never been caught in this position before. The guy will tap one time from this position, and he'll never tap again because he's been here before. But that's what I'm saying. And then the third, he'll go for an arm bar. He'll throw up an arm because my arm's sticking out there. They're like, oh, take me. So you got to be very aware that this guy, if he's any good at all, he's, he's slick, he's going to go for the arm. Okay? So your finger's going to invert. You're not going to be. You're not going to be able to do it with your thumb on the outside. You're going to have to invert your grip. I'm going to pass that across. Now, if I do it just like this, where do you think his hands are going to go? Right to my fingers. You're going to go right there and peel. That's what he's going to do. Well, how can I prevent that? I'll do it. Where's my hand? Oh, it's gone. It left. Okay, so I just hide it. So close guard. This is, he's closed, right? I'm like, oh, God, this guy. No, man. So now I go here here and then I step up and then he's either gonna pick he's gonna pick he's oh he passed there now we pass now we pass okay if he opens I pass if he throws opens and tries to climb for the arm bar I defend the arm bar if he taps I win <laughs> okay it's a very simple move so you're here invert one I usually use the left hand or right hand and I open the gi and pull and shove that one through. And then I hide it with this hand. Cover the hand with the, the gi. Okay, and then he can't get your hand. <laughs> All right? And then just stand up. Now, easy way to stand up in the guard. Don't just jump to your feet. I'll go, wait here. One, two. Now, all of my weight, none of my weight left that hand. You see what I mean? If you guys that are just going to jump up off your hand, up up to your feet, when you jump up, at some point that's going to happen. It's going to take pressure off. So I'm here, high once, twice, and then I shift weight forward. Okay? Squeeze the bread. Squeeze the bread. Okay? <clears throat> flat because it hurts my toe, you should always be live toes as much as possible, okay? Here and here, okay? Grab the collar, like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this knee in here, like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back this way. I'm going to go inside here, right? Now I'm going to lean my weight immediately to the collar, okay? Now I'm going to step 
here. See my knee? Now I drive and shift my weight. And I'm just going to ease through so his head clears, my head clears. Now elbow to the mat, I can let go and I can move into side position if I want to. I want to get a dominant position. So hold a second. It's here, like this, here. See, I move back. I'm going to bring this around and then bring my knee on the ground. Okay, this is called knee on the ground basic pass. I'm going to grab, I can grab my collar, whatever, here, until I get comfortable. Stack you, I step up. Now I grab the collar and slide my hand to the floor. Now I push and turn. Okay, so again. So here. See, I let go and bring the elbow in and I start driving back here. Why do I do this? Prevents what? Triangle and arm bar. Mm -hmm. So now I go inside right here and I go down my leg if I want to. Here and I want to push with this elbow. Here. Now look, I don't want to go like this. Grab my wrist. Bang. Uh oh. Just like that. You see clamping. Now all he's got to do is scoot his hips back. Scoot back that way. No, no, no. Well, that. You can do the triangle if you can. But if you just scoot your hips back, you can get your leg under my arm. Now this one. Just bring your, bring your knee to your chest. Bring your knee to your... Yeah, there you go. And I'm back stuck where I was, okay? So I don't want that. So I don't go wide. So I go here, 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 and I go right here. And, and I go here. And Master Sauer would say it like this. You go, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and you go, uh. Here, now I shift. And see how that weight's going to you, sir? Here, now I slide. Right here. Oh, sorry. Here. Here. Okay. <laughs> Right? Don't disregard the wrist grab that I did. Okay? It was just for fun. Don't resist the temptation. Yeah, I couldn't resist. It's right there. All right. So what do you do to keep him from grabbing your wrist again when you come I go through? right around his okay. knee. I go right here. Okay. And stay close. I don't All go right. big. So I'm going to go here. Here. Now I can go behind, but you can't go inside here. He can't triangle me. He's going to want to throw his leg up. Because look, now I can put my knee down if I want to, or I can grab and step. Now I shift my weight to that knee. Here, now this is me too. Grab right here by his pants and just stack me right here. Can you move? <laughs> no. I think he said no. Right there. If he doesn't like this, I just dump him that way, and now I'm in a guillotine. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Be careful. Take your time. Don't go wide with the arm. That's a very important detail. Because master size big. Guy comes around wide. Boom. He's gonna catch you there. Go so with this leg. Shoot your leg back. Go wide. He goes like this, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Here. Go, 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 go. Neck. And I don't want to stop here with my wrist in front of his throat. That's where a lot of people stop. That's why the guillotine and MMA fails. Because a lot of times they're uh, they're not deep enough. And the other guy's pulling on your wrist. As soon as he does, as soon as, yeah, right there. He's going to grab my wrist no matter what. He's going to start pulling. Okay? Even if I've got the other hand, he didn't do that. And now he's defending himself. To, to catch that, I bring the cross this way. Now I cut the angle. I want my elbow in front of his chin. What's that look like? What else do we have the elbow in front of the chin? What is it? Shema to my Okay, I want the elbow in line with his chin. Same way with the guillotine, it's just backwards. I want it in front of his chin, as close as I can get it. Now, 
lift. Okay? And you squeeze. Here. It's not this. A lot of people do this with the guillotine. That's incorrect. You're just using arm strength. Bring it across, in, and then up. So this lifts. Okay? Let's work on that. He's the attacker. He's going to have to do that. So he grabs me here. As soon as he has me, I'm going to put my hand on his knee here, and then I just sit down. Just like that. Okay? Now, there's a lot of details to this. Lots and lots of details to this. Right? I don't. Here's some things I don't do. I don't just, I don't let my arms collapse. I want to stay back. And now I don't want to bring my feet in. I want to just step and just sit. Sit down. Okay? When you do that correctly and the guy doesn't know how to fall, his head smashes the ground. Game over. Okay? If he doesn't, that's why we want to make sure you roll out of it so you don't hurt yourself in here. But I don't want the guy to roll out of it out there. Boom! Game over. Gravity wins. Okay, so you make sure your arms are locked. You end up like this. Here. See the webbing? One of the few times you're going to use your thumbs, wrap it around his knee, post, shoot this leg in, and just start setting back and make sure his knee stays away from you. If you let your elbows here, his knee's going to find your face. Every time. Okay, so you guys, you can't let your elbows collapse. Here, and you just keep guiding his knee away from you. That's all you got to do is keep his knee away from your face. He's holding onto your neck. A lot of the questions will be, well, what's to stop him from letting go and moving on? There's not much to stop him. But if somebody really means to choke you, and they have you, they don't want to let go. So their own stupidity, their own pride, I guess is a good word for it, because they got it. They don't want to let go of what they have even though it seems to be failing. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. Gers the ground. That's what happens. Okay? That's what you want with this one. So you're, you're going to... Chin's going to tuck in. Hands are going to go right to his knee. Right above... You know, like right on the kneecap. Okay? Not above it. Maybe slightly below the calf. Right there. Just that little cup area. So he can't bend his knee too well. Shove it back away from you. And then... Sit straight down. Okay, don't move in, don't move back. Just kind of step back with this one foot and just sit down, and you'll end up just like this position on the ground when you go to ground. When Susie starts to fall, you roll back with him, and this leg will leave the ground. He'll, he'll take off line or hit the ground on his head. Where do we go? Okay, so let's try it. Okay, now I'll give you some friendly advice. Do it this way. Okay, same, there's lanes that are on the map. The, the stripes. Over. We're going to bump his knee. See how much you let go? Mm -hmm. You want to catch that? Okay. I cross my hand over here and I drove across his chin. Made his chin go that way. He'll let go here. Okay. That's right, yeah. So he's got me. As soon as he does, I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to turn him. So my elbow is going to go down like this as much as I can. So I turn him. Now I move my hips to the side, and now I just use my back knee. Bump his knee. Ease him down to the ground. Now, so I want you to stay right here. Now I use this right here. Like that. Move up. Come on over here. Up. That's an arm. That's the complete technique. Okay? So you go to the side control. But what did I not do? It's very important. But I took him down. You didn't so, slam him. I'm not worried about him at all. I didn't hurt me. Why do you guys get all caught up in the emotion? This nice mat will save you. It works in here. 
as soon as you step out there, you do the same thing. Slam your knees in the ground. You're done. You just you just ended your own fight. So watch. I don't want my knees to slam at the back. So I want to make sure as soon as you grab me, I go over and I'm going to go here. Now, I bump. And I just take him down nice and gentle. Here. Now, I go inside. I grab his wrist. See how it disconnects? Now, let's step over. Bring my knees to the back of his head. Frank, we did this the other night in class. Here, Brad, bring him, take his arm. Okay? And what is that called, the entire thing? It's buckle the knee. Buckle the knee. Buckle the knee, guillotine his head. Squeeze, 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 so my voice changes. Yeah, that sucks. Now watch. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come on, come on, man. Come on, come on. Created leverage change by bringing my hands to the front. Here. Now I'm going to bring my hips out to the side, and I'm going to step behind him here, and I'm going to pinch his legs to get to there. Okay? Squeeze like a man. <laughs> right? So now do a loose grip so we can do it a little bit more technical. So I go up, hips across, I'm going to pivot. See how my toes turn? Now I sit behind him here. And I'm going to watch this. If you can't pick him up like this, you're not going to do it right. Okay? It takes forever. My knee's got to help me. I'm kind of pinching behind him with my knee. And then I use my hip to lift. Okay? My hands are the guide. Let me put back over here. Just lift. My hands go here, and then I do the same thing with my hip. Here, and I throw them over my back. Okay. What if he's taller than you? He picks you up. He's not, well. We'll get to that. Okay. That's a whole other movement. But yes. <laughs> That's first thing across the mountain. He hasn't picked you up yet. This is limited you, applicability. He helps you get stuff off the top shelf. <laughs> he's nice. He's not gonna like the outcome. <laughs> okay. So. So he grabs immediately here. See, why do we go here? If I go like this, what do you feel like doing right now? Choke. <laughs> okay? Ooh, okay. So I go here. He feels like doing that. Go to the neck. Go to the neck. See that? It's already there. Okay? So he's not going to get that. So I turn my hips. If you need to, there's a groin slap. Here. Pinch. Pinch his knees together. Don't rely on the pants. They rip. Pinch his knees together and use your hips. Here. Now look, see that? Here. Okay? Yeah, well, I don't like this. Okay? On your knees, is that what you're asking? When I put my hands on the knees, they're like this. So I step behind me. Here. Here. Behind him. Pinch. Now my hips kind of do this here, and I scoop. His hand will be right there. Here. He hits the ground, turn into him, and step over his head. If it, I may be jumping ahead again, if he holds on to you and pulls you on top of his chest, he ain't gonna hold on to you. Yeah. Trust me. If you do this right, he will not want to hold on. When to his you. feet hit the floor or off the floor, he's gonna go. Because he's upside down for a second. He'll panic. He's gonna catch himself. Huh? It is interesting. Okay. So I mean, I'm all hips. It's all hips. I mean, you you have to use your hips on this one. Right? It's a requirement. When I lift, I don't want to go like this. Ugh, no arms, guys. You guys that are strong are gonna do it wrong. So it's gonna be here, and use your hips. So it's like oh. that, and just you'll see us do this little warm up drill. That's what you're doing. Okay, let's go. 